Hello, welcome back to your channel. I'm Zaneba, and uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you the three major reasons uh, why we are using the passive voice in the English language. So stay tuned. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and, of course, like and share the video. Let's see this. So we do have three major reasons uh, for using uh, the passive voice in the English language, and the first reason is that it's when the agent is unknown, unimportant, or obvious. Let's see this by an example. The first one, my cell phone was, sorry, my cell phone has been moved. So in this sentence, we don't uh, know who did this, so we use the passive voice. Second example, the food is kept in the fridge. Here, it's not important uh, to mention who did this. The third uh, example, the burglar has been arrested. Here again, it's obvious the police has done this, so there is no need of mentioning the agent. So this is uh, how we can use the passive voice, the first reasons. So the second reason is uh, when the main topic of the sentence is uh, not the agent. As now in the English language, the main topic of the sentence normally comes at the beginning and the information about it comes at the end. But if the agent is not the main topic, we use the passive. Let's look at it with an example. Let's compare these two sentences. Bill Gates and Paul Allen founded Microsoft in 1975. In the first sentence here, uh, Bill Gates and Paul Allen are highlighted. The second sentence, Microsoft was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen in 1975. Here Microsoft is highlighted. So our focus is on the Microsoft, not uh, those who are who founded it. Therefore, uh, this is the way uh, and the reason we use the passive in the, as a second reason. Uh, you can still uh, include the agent in the sentence by using the preposition by, as you know. Uh, you may say Microsoft was founded in 1975, or you can say Microsoft was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen in 1975. Let's come to the third reason. So we use the, uh, the passive voice for formal texts. Uh, in a more formal text, the passive is preferred because it sounds less personal. This is especially true in scientific, technical, or academic writing. Let's look at the example below. The students were asked to complete the questionnaire, which is sounds less personal, as you can see from the sentence. Uh, and the following passive constructions are particularly common in such uh, formal context as claim that, I believe that, agree that, especially in research papers, seminars, academic papers, so and so on. So because of the emphasis on formality, the passive is more frequently uh, used in written English than spoken English. However, uh, the passive is still common in spoken English in more formal situations but mostly we use it in the in written English. So these are the three major reasons why we use uh, the passive voice in the English language. This will take us to the end of our, to, uh, our today's video and uh, thank for staying uh, tuned. Don't forget to like and share the video. If you are new, of course, subscribe for more similar contents. I'm going to see you soon. Bye!